hello everyone this is karthik from the hidden developer youtube channel and uh, this and welcome to my channel so uh, in uh, in today's video i am going to show you how to uh, create a sample tyson tv application this is the most basic tyson tv application uh, using the tyson studio so uh, in the previous video we have seen um, uh, the list of programmable APIs that the, the most commonly used list of programmable APIs in a Tyson TV platform. So, um, so like uh, in this video, we'll use some of those APIs. I mean, uh, uh, we'll we'll um, get into a starting point where we are going to start uh, using those predefined common APIs and uh, make use of it in some of the applications so this is our starting point within that path so here we'll just generate a very sample uh, basic tyson tv uh, application using uh, the project wizard so uh, in this uh, video <coughs> we are continuing with the assumption that you have already installed the tyson tv sdk in your system um, uh, for those of you who have not uh, gone through one of my previous videos where I uh, demonstrated how to install Tyson TV uh, SDK in your platform, you can go through that. So, there I have provided instructions for uh, Windows platform. You can um, go, go through the uh, web for instructions on uh, how to install on uh, the other specific platforms. So if not, please do drop a comment in this uh, uh, video where we'll, we can discuss on uh, if there are any issues or blockers on installing Tyson TV in other platforms. Okay, so uh, and uh, mm, so with the assumption that you have installed Tyson TV SDK on your uh, system, let's fire it up. Okay. So, uh, this is how your Tyson TV, uh, Tyson TV Studio will look like. So, uh, this is, uh, when you look at it plainly, you will give, this is a basically a, an Eclipse-based ID. So, those of you who are uh, been using the Eclipse ID for programming, you people feel right at home. So, this is basically an Eclipse-based ID. So, if you look at the basic view, you can see... Uh, the same uh, panels that you can see in the as uh, the same you can see in the Eclipse window so the first one being the project Explorer the uh, This is the area where you edit code which is termed as the code editor and the the, the below part you can see the console uh, where uh, you know uh, the uh, debugging output and any funny errors uh, that occur during your code and any other suggestions for code improvement so stuff like that are uh, being explored uh, displayed here uh, the, in this main area we are going to edit our code so this is the area where we see the project files associated uh, the currently we are working on the files inside that project and any file based actions that we can do uh, with our uh, project in the right side you can see navigator where it uh, provides navigation based on the functions etc uh, etc et or the inspector as you can say that okay so in the menu bar you can see common actions and um, actions for uh, commonly used functions like project creation running a project debugging a project uh, selecting uh, which platform to run uh, certificate manager tyson tv sdk manager uh, the emulator manager device manager so everything that the developer needs uh, for developing for dealing with tyson tv amps so those options are enabled as uh, a quick access options uh, in the menu bar section so that's it with the basic description of the id i think that's uh, enough for us to start with uh, the tyson tv development so as we go on further with uh, developing using this id we can look into the more uh, detailed concepts with it okay so let's go ahead and create a new project you can create new project either by going to file new tyson project or you can directly click the new project icon located below 
the uh, menu bar so this is the uh, uh, the quick i mean the this is the main advantage that you get with the excel quick access buttons you can uh, do most commonly used functions at and a single click so i'm going to click this icon to create a new tyson tv project so this launches the project creation wizard so project creation wizard is a simple tool that uh, helps you create or uh, helps you set up the kind of project that you need so here you'll go through the steps one by one so i uh, will be uh, given two options initially which is you can start either with a template based project or you can start working on a sample project so the template based project is the one where you will do the actual development because uh, a template provides various uh, uh, layers and so in, in various layers it provides various options so you can pick what is suitable for uh, your project and then start working on that so if in the case of a sample based project where you will be given a set of full uh, fledged complete applications where you can uh, study the code and based on that you can uh, modify the code and start with the work that you need so here we'll uh, go with the, the template based development because uh, uh, we'll look into the sample based uh, uh, project uh, sample project we saw in one of our other videos but uh, in this we are going to focus on the template based project wizard <coughs> so in the template based project wizard uh, uh, I'm going to click on that uh, so next step it's going to ask uh, uh, it it's uh, it shows the list of the platforms that Tyson can uh, um, you can develop applications using Tyson so the options are mobile wearable TV uh, either custom platform like IOT etc uh, so these are the common uh, platforms for which you can develop applications using Tyson so uh, currently we're focusing on the TV platform right so I'm going to uh, select the TV and here you can see the list of TV platforms that you have installed so you can install more than one TV platform using the SDK manager I mean, uh, I'm, I'm using the latest one that is provided by Tyson, which is Tyson 5.5 platform. Uh, uh, suppose you have uh, already installed, you, you can install the previous versions or a specific version of Tyson for which you want to test your code out. Uh, so you can install that using the update manager. And uh, uh, here I have you installed the only latest platform. So that's the only thing that's being shown here. So select the uh, platform that you want to develop applications for then the next section it asks you about the type of application that you need to develop so you can either develop native applications using tyson and also web applications using tyson so here we'll be focusing on web-based platform so uh, we'll uh, definitely for uh, uh, explore a bit further into the native platform development uh, in none of the other videos so here we'll, we'll be focusing on the web application stuff so in the next step that uh, uh, it provides a basic uh, template like uh, whether you want to create a basic project where you want to create a uh, term in an ui project where it is based on a calf uh, calf is one of the frameworks that uh, tyson utilizes for its ui uh, development so it asks like whether you have you want to develop CAF using Angular or jQuery or whether you want to start with an empty project a jQuery navigation. So in the empty project you will be getting uh, nothing just a plain blank project where you have to create everything from scratch. For in, in this video we are going to start with the basic project which provides the basic uh, 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 very basic Tyson TV application for uh, for continuing with the for starting our work upon so i'm going to select the basic project and uh, the next step is the <coughs> place where you give the project name so i'm going to give it a sample tyson case tv app. okay so while giving the project name you saw some recommendations right so like uh, uh, your project name should be so and so so that you can you can get it directly 
uh, well while typing the project if there is any mistake then dyson tv will automatically let you know that hey your project name has need some modifications do that so that is completely straightforward and in the mode property section you can choose the location for which you uh, you, you in which you can install the app i mean uh, the the project also better use the default location so there may be cases where you need your project to be created in a specific location for some other task so in that case you can go for you can like just uncheck the use default location and you can browse the location wherever you want so make sure that the, the location that you choose uh, e, like you have proper permissions for creating applications in that project okay so i'm using the default location and you can select the project and add it to a set of working sets we'll we'll deal on this later so uh, here everything is fine i have given a name i have uh, i have not chosen the location property i have just chosen the default location then i'll once i finish the wizard you can see that <coughs> the sample tyson tv amp project is opened okay so if you take a look at uh, the project folder structure you can see the list of javascript libraries that this project is going to use the uh, the style sheets the images the J javascript files the config file and the main application icon file and the index.html which is the uh, landing page so uh, for those of you who have experience in developing web applications when you take a look at this application folder structure you get uh, you you feel right at home right so like you, you get you when you look at take a look at the application folder structure you say okay it's just a normal html based application so that's what tyson tv web application is all about it's a html5 based platform for developing web applications that runs on a tyson tv so this is the landing page where it's a plain html where you include the scripts that you need and this is the uh, main javascript file where you have uh, basic uh, event handler functions basic remote handling or i mean basic uh, remote key handler functions and basic stuff like that we'll go through the we'll go to, to a detailed walkthrough in this code uh, a bit uh, later i mean uh, in our next video <coughs> and uh, you have the style sheet here so uh, these are the common files that you know the basic flow right it lands in index.html the index.html then loads the corresponding javascript and css files and finally the samsung engine will render this web page as an application inside the samsung tv when invoked so the main thing uh, one of the main concepts that uh, we need to come and take a look around in much more detailed fashion is the config.xml file uh, you can say it as the main configuration file for your app. So before uh, running your app, the Samsung TV, I mean the the Tyson TV platform, will go through this configuration file and reads various parameters, and it opens your app accordingly. So if you take a, an overall uh, look at what is being given in the config.xml file, you can see the overview of the features, the application, the license, the other details and uh, the features privileges policy preferences tyson there are so many amount of information that you can configure uh, using the config.xml file uh, that provides a vital information to the tyson tv platform while running your application so that we'll look, take a, a deeper look in one of our featured video tutorials okay so now let's go ahead and uh, run this app and see how it looks like so for running this app either you can select the run as okay or i'm uh, just right click on the project folder then select run as then you can find an option called tyson web simulator application for tv okay so i'm going to select that okay now you can see that uh, our application is launched this is a basic application with a basic web page with the uh, hyperlinks and a clock button once i click the clock button the current time runs okay uh, 
there's nothing uh, special about this application a basic html page right so it will be launched the thing that you see uh, right here is the tyson uh, simulator so this is this is a tool that tyson provides along with uh, the emulator and the web inspector etc to de to developer web application so tyson simulator is the one that we commonly use to uh, view the output of our tyson web-based applications so this is the look we'll take a deeper, deeper look into the tyson web simulator and other platforms for for running and debugging our applications so we'll take a look on that in our unknown uh, unknown of our future video tutorials so uh here uh, so like when, while running you got various other options right uh, like uh, run as you get you can run it as a web application you can run it as a web simulator application you can use a web unit test application while uh, if you select uh, uh, that option called tyson native development then you will be getting options to run in tyson emulator also so this is the basic setting we'll i'll uh, take we'll go through a little bit more detail with the tyson tv simulator in our future video tutorials so hope you got a basic idea on how to open a project how to create a project uh, how to select a type of project that you work on and how to run it so just to get the most basic flow in a development uh, process you create an application check it you do something with the code and then you basically run the application so this is a basic application code so in the uh, next video uh, so we can make a little bit modifications with this application code and see the output and we'll take a basic uh, look at the tyson tv simulator so that's it for now thanks for watching stay tuned for further videos thanks